2021 NFL Draft was supposed to be one of the biggest quarterback drafts of all time. Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, Justin Fields, and Mac Jones were all picked in the first round and all really showed flashes of why and how they could really be really good in this league. But the one that people seem to gloss over when they're looking at who could be great next year is Trevor Lawrence. He really showed a lot throughout you know every game that he started and particularly three games those coming against the texans dolphins and colts where he really was better than a lot of people give him credit for especially under pressure and i think that that's the biggest thing and that's what i'm going to be looking at in this film room today is what he does under pressure he was facing a lot of his rookie year free rushers left and right a scheme that really wasn't supporting him and he at times really did put the offense on his back and just straight up make plays so we're going to look at how he does exactly that and how it's going to translate in the future where i really think he can be the guy we all thought he was when he was drafted number one overall and compared to guys like andrew luck and john elway the first most important thing to look at with Trevor Lawrence before we look into what he does under pressure and when things aren't going right is what he does when they are. And here is a perfect example of that and how he identifies coverages. Here we see a single high look, which likely means cover one or cover three. But an easy pre-snap identifier of that sometimes is the fact that the cornerback on the bottom of the screen is looking into the backfield rather than being manned up on the running back. This tells Trevor Lawrence that it is likely cover three as that corner is likely to drop back, take his third of the field, and the corner on the top of the screen is likely to do the same thing. This opens up the two seams, especially for the tight end on the left-hand side, to go make a play up the seam. As we see here, the ball is snapped and the tight end does exactly that. He takes the seam, Lawrence is staring his way, and knows that he will be wide open, cocks back, puts a throw where only his tight end could get it and gets his first touchdown of his career it's a great throw but really the pre-snap decision is the more impressive part he knew exactly where he was going to go with this football and his tight end uncovered and he's able to make the easy plays a common thread among rookie quarterbacks and their struggles early in the pros is vacating an empty pocket and trevor lawrence although he does that sometimes showed in even his first game that he doesn't do it as often as you'd think. Here we see they've got a two by two look with a running back in the backfield. And as the ball is snapped, there's some pressure coming, but Lawrence knows that he can sit in there and deliver a throw. And that really is exactly what he does. There's an opportunity to break outside or try to do something else. But Lawrence sits in and makes a solid throw and really shows that he is willing to attempt to make a play even when it's not right in front of his eyes. This receiver, is about to run into the zone of that linebacker, but Lawrence decides that he's going to put the ball on his back shoulder in order to make it so Marvin Jones can go make a play. And honestly, the throw wasn't even that bad. It was a catchable ball, a little bit difficult, but it just shows his willingness to make a play on top of the fact that he wasn't vacating an empty pocket like a lot of quarterbacks, namely Baker Mayfield, was struggling with in his rookie year. While Trevor Lawrence wasn't under much pressure on this play, this really shows that he is capable of making any individual throw that you want him to, which is really the number one trait we look for in quarterbacks now, as you see Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, all balling out with this given trait. And Trevor Lawrence here runs a bootleg play, and it's just run to perfection. You see here, motion, the ball is snapped, and Trevor Lawrence rolls out right, sees his receivers open, makes a quick decision, fires from about the 18 on the move to midfield, and just puts it right on the money. This is a huge play that not many quarterbacks can make on the move, but because Trevor Lawrence's arm is just so big and so powerful, he makes that throw, and his arm talent and accuracy, he puts it right on the money. Trevor Lawrence's rollout ability is something you really don't think of with him just because of his frame, but he really can get out of the pocket and make plays, and this is a really, really impressive play against the Miami Dolphins, who really have a fierce defense. It wasn't up to par in this game, but overall, they had a very strong season. You see here, he starts in the pocket, and nothing is open, so he bootlegs outside after evading pressure. He's looking down the field. He sees Agnew running to the opposite side of the field. He's going right, Agnew's running left, and he puts a ball right on him. 
it's really a great throw and it's just great that he kept his eyes up looked down the field in the face of pressure and was able to get the ball out quickly and accurately to a target even if they're moving to the opposite side he was able to throw across his body and really throw an accurate ball here's another example of really the same thing trevor lawrence you know play action pressure coming down rolls out to his left this time and sees the tight end wide open and a lot of quarterbacks miss these kind of throws they're easy but they're rollout throws so they have to be hit on time with accuracy and lawrence does exactly that he puts it on his tight end and allows him to go make a play down the field i mean it's just a really strong throw once again and his ability to deal with pressure by rolling out is something that is really impressive to me and makes me think that if he gets more in structure plays that he can make in a new offense that he'll be able to continue to do this and really improve next season and as I showed earlier, it really isn't just what Trevor Lawrence can do on the run, but it's also what he can do when he sits in the pocket. Sometimes he'll vacate a clean pocket, but here he sits in and takes a hit. Miami comes out in really no high safety look. They make this appear like it's man, one of their cover zero looks, but they come out of it, drop some guys back, and it really evolves into what sort of becomes a three high structure, like a cover three type of look. And once again, as I demonstrated earlier, this means attack the seams. And Trevor Lawrence sits in, sees Agnew running up the seam, sees that Needham is coming down to play that hitch route, and just puts the ball right where his receiver can go get it. He made a quick decision, and if you look in the backfield, he's on his back. He's getting nailed, and he sits in there and delivers the hit. A lot of quarterbacks are scared to get hit in the modern game, but Trevor Lawrence with his big frame just isn't one of them. He's going to be taking a lot of hits if they're going to be attacking downfield like this, and he does not fear that one bit. Here's another angle of the throw. You see Andrew Van Ginkle coming off the edge and just lays him out. And he still makes an awesome throw down the field to Agnew against one of the better defensive backfields in the NFL. Trevor Lawrence is really able in clean or dirty pockets to manipulate defenders with his eyes and make strong throws. And you see that right here. You see Agnew coming over the middle on what is really a clear out route. And he uses his eyes to freeze Javon Holland for just the slightest amount of time and puts a ball up really quickly with a one-on-one -on -one with Marvin Jones and Noah Benagini. He puts this up and puts it on a rope to the end zone. 37 yard line about to halfway through the end zone. That's like a 42, 43 yard throw. And he made it look really easy. That 6'5", six, 6'6 six, six frame of Trevor Lawrence just comes with an absolute cannon of an arm. And he's really capable of making just about every throw. And I think that in a new system with Jacksonville, it's really possible that we see them attack these downfield strike plays more. Fading on throws is a concept that really plagues a lot of young quarterbacks. And Trevor Lawrence, even though he might occasionally leave the empty open pocket, is not someone who fades on throws really at all. And it's really impressive to see what he can do if he sits in and takes a hit. Like right here, you got Christian Wilkins coming almost immediately off the snap right at him. And he doesn't flinch at all. You look at his feet, they are not moving in any way that is backwards. And he just delivers a strike about, I don't know, 20 yards down the field and puts it right on Marvin Jones where he can go make a play. Throws it away from the contact to keep him safe. And this is just another really strong throw that Trevor Lawrence made in this Miami game where he really, you know, started to find his footing as a rookie in what was really inconsistent and not great circumstances for him. If he can get more consistent help, this is going to be a great young quarterback. A lot of these clips previously have really been in the open field, but the red zone, it gets tighter, and you probably think Trevor Lawrence doesn't succeed there, but guess what? You're wrong. Here's a prime example of that. It's a really high snap, and it has to be super high because Trevor Lawrence is about 6'6", as I stated earlier, and this ball is just about where he can put one hand on it. So this is extremely high in the air and he's able to make a play on this ball and as soon as he turns around there is pressure right in front of him and you probably think this play's dead he's a young quarterback put in such a terrible position by his offensive line and his running backs really not helping him with this protection either he's coming back towards him but no this is nothing for trevor lawrence he puts his arm out gets that defensive end off of him and sees that marvin jones is about to uncover in the corner of the end zone and this is just a stellar play keeps rolling out makes an extremely quick decision considering he just turned around maybe like a half a second ago to let this ball go 
puts it right where Marvin Jones can go get it again in the back corner of the end zone, and he's able to get two feet down. This is a stellar throw normally, but in the situation that Trevor Lawrence is in, this is just absolutely beautiful. His arm, his mind, his ability to make quick decisions, and that all gets better under pressure, and it's just amazing to see. Just an awesome throw from Trevor Lawrence. Another play here that Trevor Lawrence really made look routine was a bootleg play where his first read didn't come open and he really got off of it quickly and just made a throw really fast that I really thought was impressive. He, you see here it's a design bootleg. He's rolling to his right and he's looking over the middle and thinks he has this guy but with this linebacker right in front of him he really doesn't want to throw this ball and he quickly pumps and then moves his head to the next target. And even though he's kind of covered, he puts a ball right on Chenault out of bounds. That's a really strong throw. That's really the common theme here is just strong throw after strong throw. And Trevor Lawrence does them all either on the run or under pressure. Just imagine what he would have if he had more clean pockets throughout the year. As you can see, Trevor Lawrence is somebody that clearly has a lot of promise. And you probably think, well, that's obvious. He came out of Clemson. He was a number one overall pick, considered the best prospect since Andrew Luck. Of course he has promise. But a lot of people have really started to either give up on him or really count him out. And that's just something I believe that you cannot do just yet. Urban Meyer was not a great head coach, to say the least. We've seen all the things that have come out about him. But now they've got a new system. Doug Peterson, who has a Super Bowl ring, like it or not, is his new head coach. And he's someone who really helped maximize quarterbacks. And even somebody with a similar frame, like the big guy that Nick Foles is, and really helped lead him to a Super Bowl with all of his QB-friendly RPO concepts. So if you get Trevor Lawrence that kind of help, just like Doug Peterson did with Nick Foles, I really think you could see Lawrence explode in the coming years. I mean, he's able to make throws like the ones that I've showed on screen, under pressure, and even certain ones that have clean pockets that are just absolutely absurd and only a few quarterbacks in the NFL can make. And if you are able to get him, you know, more weapons like a Christian Kirk that they got this offseason, improve his offensive line like they've tried to do, and if that coaching staff can step up and really help him, he can develop into the quarterback that everyone believed him to be when he was selected number one overall.